Hey, it's me, Furia, and welcome to Let's Try Morbid The Seven Acolytes. This game is a horror punk action RPG filled with Lovecraftian horrors and Cronenbergian gore, making it the most gruesome take on the isometric souls like Jenner yet. And it is released in 2020 and developed by Still Running. And tags include such as action, souls like adventure, Lovecraft, and RPG, dark fantasy, indie horror, steampunk, gore, female protagonist, third person fantasy, violent, atmospheric, cyberpunk, and combat. It has mostly positive reviews on Steam, and this version that I'm playing is free demo from steam so if you want to try it yourself you can just hop on steam download it for free and give it a try yourself and i found this because i didn't find it actually my friend found this on xbox store it was on a big sale there and he was like i wonder if this game is any worth playing and i was like I don't know, but it looks like Death Dress, which is another game I made a Let's Try just um, some time ago. And it was really a good game. So, um, uh, he noticed that this is also available on Steam, and then he noticed there is a demo for it, so I decided to give it a try. So, Willis of Air Ablon. Fortuna, belonging to the mayor of Mornia, Fortuna was nicknamed by the bitter villagers as the lucky bastard sword. This name derived from the mayor's undeserved inherited wealth as well as from the fact that the sword was indeed a bastard sword. So we go, so this is this is it. And um it is souls like and I admit straight away I did start playing this demo I was doing, actually I was recording this particular video, but then I screwed some things up and I had horrible problems with my controllers um, and so on and the video just went on and on and I achieved nothing, so I decided to start over and um, I'm currently playing this with controller because I think it's easier than keyboard and mouse even though you can shoot with a gun in this one as you can see the aiming is not so difficult it's it's this works better on controller than death trash lead. and so this is my inventory and um here you can inspect things there is it seems like there is a lot of lore. I haven't got anywhere in this game yet, but it just seems there is a lot of lore. So this is Crombie's canister. It refills my ammo. I'm not gonna read all that. <laughs> um, one thing is that I feel this game would require a little bit more polishing. Um... It took me forever to figure out how to do some basic things and I still... I don't know how to put things in the quick slots. Right trigger. It is easy with... Um, controller. So with controller it works, but with keyboard I never figured out how to do that. Another thing that I never figured out is that there is two different setting of weapons you can use. So um, now I just got stuck, by the way. <laughs> um, there is two different setting, just like in, for example, Dragon Age. So you can change the weapons on the go. You don't have to change it. Here we go, inventory. But I don't know how to change it in here. Like, which button do I press to change the load loadout? Or if it's possible. Never found out that one. So there is... There should be a little bit more tooltips. There is some, but there should be maybe a tiny bit more. I don't even know, like... Well... Another thing is, I'll show you, I'm playing this with my controller and here as you go to see controls, it only gives 
the controls for keyboard and obviously this should include controls for the controller and another thing <laughs> is that mouse does not work in the menu so you have to navigate the menu with arrow keys and space or en um, enter and so these are just kind of the small things that do not affect the game itself so much but it just gives this kind of like it's a little unpolished these are tiny things quality of life things that should be taken care of so that's what i wanted to say about that i'm gonna put the medical bed pellets there they help with my sanity i think uh hold on i just completely no wait this one goes there this one goes there regenerate sanity and take less sanity damage so when it comes to the uh, when it comes to i accidentally figured this one out you have to kill this one to destroy those ones and then you can move past them this more than dark souls it reminds me of Bloodborne, which is a game I never played myself. I've seen it. I watched it on YouTube. What a surprise. But I never played it myself and I never will be playing it unless it comes on PC, which it probably never does. So I will never be playing it, unfortunately. So this is a dodge roll. And as you can see, there is stamina. I'm sorry. There is a stamina up there. It's the green one. And then B is a special attack. It's kind of like strong, strong attack, and this is a quicker, lighter attack. Praise the Kahars and their mighty acolytes. Sure thing, dude, I guess. Here's my first enemy. Um, This is sneaking. I don't know if you can do a sneak attack in this one, or if you can do, like, backstab. Holy, it's fast. this character moves very slow it's it's hard let me tell you this is hard the enemies move fast i move very slow <laughs> i am not very good at souls like games i am not a souls like master i am very much souls like noob so i am not good at these games the hard canister which is in well, you can't see the number really now because I'm using the controller, but it's item number one down there. You can't even change the position. It's basically the Estus, but it's funny how it looks like um, the hard canister from... What's it called? Enter the Gungeon. So, I feel like this game is inspired by many, many things many different games and i really like the art style i really like the atmosphere ah, i'm so bad at this this my controller is quite flimsy it's very sort of extremely soft and very flimsy hold on let me just where's my mouse kind of gonna put the volume a bit higher hopefully it's not too loud but yo these guys got mad so as you can see shooting is not a problem at least if it's not like a very very sudden situation ah there you go <laughs> i am so bad at this heal my sanity a little bit I don't I was saying something I don't know what I said or was going to say so broccoli negate all stamina consumption for a short period of time this is um broccoli all right it's green moss clump right 
used to gain health and sanity and cure all conditions. Lazarus flower. And then there are these runes and I have no idea how to get them on my weapon. Do I need to go to a smith somewhere or if I have to do something else? I don't know. Homing capsule. Homing capsule. There is a lot of stuff in these barrels, so break them. I am very scared, actually. I don't want to kill the piggy. So be careful. Trusty blaster. Let me see. It is worse than my current one. Is it faster, though? Shotgun. This is a shotgun. Um, maybe I should give it a try and see how it is different. Uh, I still have difficulties remembering the buttons, which is actually one of the... Oh! Ay, ay. It is problem... It is not very powerful weapon indeed. <laughs> um, I have problems remembering the buttons with a lot of games. And especially so with the Souls-like games. I think I'm very soon out of ammo. Okay, I think I did pretty good. However, I kind of like this rifle type of thing more. <laughs> um, use? How many? How, where can I see my ammo? I have five. No, I have 20. I don't know if I just wasted ammo, like how much will you get? That is also similar to Enter the Gungeon. I don't remember, is he... What class is he? But they have the ammo drop and then you can just use it to get full ammo for any weapon you use. I'm sure you know. I don't need to explain this to you. So... I really, really like this style, atmosphere, the energy. Oh my gosh, do you see that? How do I... Just get out of there. So you can sneak in this game as well. Um, here is Face Breakers. It's fast and it hits harder than my sword. But it's um, very short range. As you can see. Wait a minute, I just realized that the sanity is up there on the very upper left corner where there is a brain. But underneath it is the purple meter. What on earth is that? Uh, this is, like I say, there is not enough tutorials. I don't know what that is and how it affects me. So I found Worker's Verge. Handcraft the virtues like this one are used by the vicars of your child and break the fingers of misbehaving elder boys. Its snappy wooden sounds and shivers down the spines of those who felt its strikes before. So the speed goes down, but the damage is even better. This is like great club in Dark Souls. Ooh. The specialty, the um, heavy hit is very slow, but the um, regular hit is not that much lower to sword. Crater Rune of Rage. How do I run? I just 
freaking okay it's a same as the dodge button i keep forgetting <laughs> medicine pellets can i get anywhere in here oh there is more books here maybe i get told no wait these are the same as i did already read so there is nothing new break some barrels those are pretty safe to fight with they don't fight back um i need to close my cordons just a second all right let's continue so this one was running and dodging this one is hitting there is somebody here these people they don't care that there is the ice lover car the monsters all around they're just chilling you know, just another day at the town. You really came here through the caverns of solitude? Tell me, is the legend true? Is there an island's abom abomination living deep inside the mountain? Oh, I'm sure it's true. How about you? What do you say? I used to be sober like you, but then I got drunk. But then I got drunk. But then I got drunk. Then I got drunk. Da -da 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 -da. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just couldn't. Couldn't stop myself. Oh, get out of there. Okay, I want to heavy hit you. That's not the heavy hit button. I just failed massively because I forgot which button is the heavy hit button. Um, bonk. Man, I'm slow. Yo, yo, move out of there. No, I'm so slow. I'm also, extremely bad at souls like games. Extremely bad. And it's like, um, I'm full of them. I'm full of it. Crombie's canister. I have. <sighs> I can't take it. I hope it doesn't disappear. It probably disappears, right? <coughs> Should I go try to kill the big monster with my gun? Is it even possible? I don't know. Whenever those explode, my controller moves. It kind of like it starts wiping. <laughs> I have to say the aiming is harder. Imagine using that. It's too fast. You should be able to change the speed of it. Um, in a quick situation, Does maybe I should use the shotgun. At least I have a tiny bit more <laughs> likelihood of hitting something. No, still not hitting anything. <laughs> and it's so much less effective. Alright. Can I take it? Uh do you know how I'm capable of taking it? I'm just gonna use this. No, this is not a weapon canister, dude. Is this a weapon canister? Please, pick it up. I just wasted my weapons. My insanity is not changing. My brain is still broken. Let me... Let me... Um, also, now that it's in the quick... Thingy... Regenerate sanity when used. When it's in the quick slot, it's not in here, and it's very hard to read the description of it. So there is this kind of like, um. It's crude. It's not polished all the way. And I'm sure, because I was wondering, like, this has. It's not mixed reviews, but it's kind of like, um. How was it? Hold on, let me see. I'm sorry. Your level of sanity affects the damage you deal and take. Amount of XP you earn and the amount of specters you face. I'm facing specters. This turned into mass effects so fast. So, um, my cell phone is extremely slow. It's dying. I'm sorry. This takes like forever to just open one page. Mostly positive. And I was wondering why does this game have only mostly positive reviews when it seems like it's really cool. Hey, extremely cool and wonderful. 
And I was wondering about that and now I know because it lacks polish. It needs to be polished and I I honestly wonder why they haven't done the finishing polish. Um because this they obviously put a lot of effort doing this game. That one was time really though. This is not like uh, some really quick thing. You just put out there in a week and hope you get some money out of it before you make another one. I've seen a lot of those games in Steam as well. People don't really put a lot of effort. They just put something in there and hope somebody pays money for it. This, they put a lot of effort into this. But then the finishing touches are uh, missing, which is weird. Used to regenerate health over a short period of time while slightly training sanity. That seems extremely dangerous. Depending on one's point of view, drinking an unidentified beverage is either extremely hazardous or admirably adventurous. Or both. I don't know if I should do it, probably not. It's a Dark Souls game. Well, not Dark Souls game. It's a um, Souls-like game, so it probably is more stupid than smart. Well, let's go talk with this dude. My brother became a servant of Moir. We don't speak of him anymore, I'm sure. Miss him, though. These people, they don't, they just don't freaking care. Great sword of deep wrong. Let's see. <coughs> Excuse me, it's slower and it doesn't hit so hard. Does it make much sense to me, honestly? I'm rooting for you, Striver. May Mark Macrathius guide your path. May they indeed guide my path. Maybe it has better. Um, does the weapons have different, like, moveset in this game? Is that a thing? Used to have fire the weapon. Can I just straight out at it? No. I need to find a forge or something, I think. To be able to do it. I mean, that's how you do it. Oh my gosh. That's how you do it in Dark Souls. I'm just saying Dark Souls a lot while playing this game. How do you do it in Bloodborne? I can't say Bloodborne because I never played it. Well, I could say Sekiro, you know, you don't you use a you you use some sort of a forge in Sekiro as well. Not a forge, but you go back to the hut where you where is the old man and then he upgrades your tools. He Basically, is a porch. Should I try to fight this dude? It's like a boss battle. Oh, shoot. Should I get my ammo back? Does this game pause? Oh, man, I'm so bad at this. Oh, it's clever. I am not. Keep shooting. Does it pause? I don't think it pauses. Where is my... Keep shooting. It's not coming this way. I can do this. I'm cheesing it. to be the sniper in the game yo if you get hit while you're trying to hit something it cancels out your hit so you don't hit them oh fast oh so it uh interrupts you so timing with this one is extremely Particular because 
it's so easily interrupted. But I did kill the big monster. That's... I wouldn't say it's a huge achievement because it didn't really attack me. <laughs> so, what on earth does Flesh Plant Petal do? Used to gain more attack speed for a short period of time and lose sanity. A lot of loose sanity stuff. I'm out of ammo fully, completely. Because I used all ammo to shoot walls and some to shoot the big monster. Uh, I, by the way, can't save this. So if I screw this up, I need to start all over. I sure as heck hope that it's just a demo version thing and the real game does have a save function. Otherwise, the game probably wouldn't have like mostly positive reviews. <laughs> gardens of Mornia. We are going to Gardens of Mornia. I am so scared. What is this? Okay, so meditate. This is saving, right? So this is, this is saving. There is save points in this game. So it is Souls-like very much in that sense. It's just weird that the very first area did not have shrine or then I just somehow missed it. I'm putting some stuff in the stash. Um... I'm putting this one there. Oh, I actually have to kind of move them. What is this? Crater Rune of Solitude. And I'm putting this one there. Yeah. Uh, should I put this one there? I kind of... Wait a minute. Didn't I get a big club? Didn't I get a big club? Am, am I hallucinating? I thought I got a big club, but I'm using Wiper's Verge. Okay, I have to go back and watch my old video just to see that. Um, I'm gonna try this. Might be a horrible mistake. Um, I just saved so I could just drink. The maps, there is a lot of areas. Don't see any of them. What is Morbi Manageria? Oh, the seven acolytes. So these are the enemies. The seven acolytes, they are the bosses, right? Like the lords of Lordran or whatever. Formidable. These are like elites. A curse of what? Solia? Whip Hive? Um, whip Hives and Skull Hives is often first form of any given ground spore. This is sort of like a cursed version. In Death Trust there is meat growing everywhere, but the meat itself is harmless and people actually just eat it and lose their sanity though. But it doesn't attack you. Unless you attack it. If it's crawling around, <laughs> don't attack it. But these ones, these grow out of the earth and they just start attacking you. So this is a bit more aggressive world. Skullheim. So this is, um, once Ikros reaches critical stage, Skullheim begins to spawn flying spores composed of calcium from the bones and seed tissue provided by the plant. Flying skulls and then they, um, pollinate. <laughs> Bless Bland Plague of Mornia. Scarlet Rods. Um, these unformed squiggly lumps of pulp and plasma are the seed of the Gahars. Although they are not sentient and can't really move, their sanity training aura is able to corrupt the immediate environment very cogently. So, indeed, the purple um, effect. Purple effect. The different enemies do. I think it is um, sanity damage 
these ones do and then some other enemies do it. Sperm of Gahar never develop into anything. They stay in their mucus form and serve the simple purpose of sprawling throughout the lands, thus expanding the corrupt domain of their progenitors. Monsters of Old Mornium Ravenous Grow um, Madman's Moss spread across the kingdom. The crows found a new source. So this is like a... <clears throat> I think for some reason... <laughs> A lot of games lately have this idea that there is some sort of a disease that basically destroys the human god and then only some of us survive and try to fight back and just stay alive. Flora Soul, also known as Lazarus Wine. I have Lazarus Flower. Does it come from them? Lazarus wine is a wine plant with highly developed neural circuit. It allows the wine to attach itself to a corpse and seemingly resurrect it. So this is kind of like, um, you know, the one game, I don't remember. I always mix up those games. Um, the one where there is the fungus that wakes up people as zombies. Last of Us? I think it's that one. So this is that but with plants, sort of. And there is indie plants that kind of do that. They don't do zombies, but they suck their living life out of other plants and sort of <laughs> becomes them in a way. Not really, but sort of. In a parasitic manner, Flora of Soul uses the host as the feeding ground. This is what they do. They use the host as a feeding ground. They just wrap around the feeding um, the host and then they feed off it until it dies and there is like they leave behind a corpse that then just disappears and they sort of hollow inside because there is the space where the host used to be there is at least that type of a plant i don't know if there is some other type of plants it's very very interesting like revenge of plants beware vegans <laughs> the plants are getting mad angry. Flora soul has more than enough nutrition to consume. It can over time become a wandering hollow. These massive clumps of Lazarus wine have formed into mouth-like structure and rumen to more effectively digest <laughs> nutrition of gavators. Wandering hollows have high sustainability and rarely run out of nourishment. This means they are not particularly aggressive and usually attack only to defend themselves. Okay, that's good to know. The rumen is known to di digest almost any biological product, or however, it can't dissolve metals. This means that any valuables eaten by Wandering Hollow remain in its gut and can be looted. So the very interesting is that these plants basically eat biological matter which humans are. So why are the citizens of the town just chilling there when there are these human eating monsters wandering around? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna drink this. Okay, I got healing. I'm gonna drink it again. Oh, okay. I got a lot more stamina. I forgot I changed my weapons, so now I'm a lot quicker. Oh, I pressed the wrong freaking button. Oh, it's pretty powerful. I kind of like this. Like a sister. Oh my gosh. Wrong button. Wrong freaking button. So that is sanity. Destroying uh, thing. Oops. I don't know what I just did. Yay! I didn't even notice that one. <gasps> it's coming. I missed. Ah! It's fast. Dodge it. 
No, wait, it is easy if you dodge it. It's not easy if you don't dodge it. Heart Shroom. That's like Mario, Super Mario. Life drained weapon. I wish I could find a place where I can do that. Also, if I meditate, do the enemies come back? Probably yes. It's a souls like game, right? Um, excuse me. Yikes. I'm out of here. What did I just do? My finger slip. I pressed a button. Oh, you can you can just shoot right through the wall. I hate you for it. Giant leech. I should remember I'm pretty quick with the sisters. Ah. I should remember they're pretty quick as well. I'm out of stamina. I'm going through healing stuff so fast. Um, need to get rid of this one. That also reminds me of Super Mario, the, the spiky boy that rides the cloud and throws other spiky boys around. Loonie's room. Craft room of depression and poison room. Use to add poison to weapon. There is a lot of stuff that I can use to add something to my weapon. It's just that I really can't add anything to my weapons. Whoa! Alright. I was thinking that the brain one is sanity, but now I'm just thinking maybe it's the experience points and not sanity. I'm gonna get hit. And I know it. <laughs> oh, yo! Whoa, that's so fast. I am so bad at this. I'm just saying, surprised that I'm still somewhat alive. Yo! No, it's gonna hit me. Oh. When he hits you, he hits you hard. But it also hits kind of slow. So you can just basically walk out of its range. If you're fast enough. When I saw it happening, I was trying to dodge, but this character moves a bit slow. Did I lose a lot of stuff? No? So at least I give my stuff. Take a look at that dude. Just chilling there. Um, This is a way back. Like a short dot. This character moves surprisingly slow. So the moment I realized I need to dodge. Couldn't move out of the way anymore. Whoa! And another problem is, I don't know why, but I keep pressing Y. Trying to attack with a strong attack. Man, I suck. I just keep pressing the wrong button, it's not really helping. I love these. Take a look at these trees. There is some creatures in there. I'm just gonna leave that one alone. I'm gonna level up soon. Bad at this. The part it's 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 so quick. It's so quick. And I am so slow. This character needs dexterity. A lot of it. It is so slow. And then when it gets hit, it gets interrupted, so 
You just need to learn the patterns. Did I just level up? My brain is... It was filled. I can't choose anything. I think I need to destroy this one. I want to fight the big one. I don't want this one to bother me. So, oh, by the way, I can. Can I go around here? Yes, I can. So I can just run away from me. <laughs> Let's cheese. Oh, move. Definitely move. This, it doesn't seem like it's very quick. Oh, once again, I did it. Once again, I tried to hit with Y. I can barely hit and dodge out of the way. This time I didn't manage to do it. And these big ones, they hit hard. Ah, I, yeah. <laughs> How did I beat this the last time? I did shoot it a whole lot more, I guess. Maybe I just got lucky because I didn't know what to expect. The enemies, you can kind of use that in your advantage, but the enemies sort of seem to be... Oh man. Mainly attacking towards this side. They don't really attack up or down, so they don't... Yo, I just kind of realized I don't attack up or down. I only attack... sides. But you can use it. A little bit in your advantage. Can I please get rid of you? Hold on. Okay, so I'm trying again. This big one. I'm trying to oops. Shoot it a couple times. Oh man. Man, I suck. This is why I can't beat it. Honestly, this is why I can't beat it. Just get good, right? It's so fast, though. Big guy. So freaking fast. You gotta bait it. Man, what the heck was that? You gotta bait it to attack. Then you attack it. Man, what the heck was that? Ay! I will kill you, even if that is the last deed I will ever do in my life. It probably is. Okay, I did it. I freaking did it. Whoa, that was hard. That was hard. It's not supposed to be this hard, right? It's, you know me, if you've been watching any of my videos, you know that I love speed. Speed is my fave. Oh my god. You just lift your get the aiming correct and then lift your finger off. It's it's hard. I take my words back. I say that the aiming is pretty easy. It's not. Aiming is not easy. It's too fast. It's just too sensitive. Need to heal. I'm gonna heal my sanity a little bit. Um, what's it gonna say? There is a big one here, isn't there? Yes. I just, I can sneak. I can sneak. I am not going to be able to sneak past that. There is no secret wall. It's going to kill me. Can I outrun it? I'm just gonna... Okay, so there is nothing in here. Yo, it's charging. <laughs> I 
Gotta use your brain, work smarter, not harder. Okay, those are like hard enemies. They even have skulls to warn me. Let's, let's just see. Oh, another big one. Here is a monument. Meditating. <laughs> okay. So this is one way to play the game. I mean, Crumpy's canister. That's nice. I mean, a lot of people play Souls-like games like that. Not the first run, but... Eventually, yes, they just avoid all the enemies, collect the good stuff, get the freak out of there. I'm out of here. Bye. So it seems like there was nothing in here at all. And then, you know, that's it. That's how they play the game. And then people are admiring them. Beast claws. That is new stuff. Let's just grab what we can and then out of here. Where am I supposed to go, though? Create a rune of anxiety? Oh man, I don't... Ooh. Blocked off. These guys are kind of slow. Mmm! The beat got mad angry. Get out of my way, I gotta get out of here. Oh, I'm back here? Still coming. Oops, I didn't notice you. <laughs> e you tired? I'm not, I can run for ages. There is another big guy there. You gotta find the nodules to open up those baths. There is a lot to explore here. Oops. I wonder if I'm gonna lose the new stuff I found. The big guy. Ooh. I feel like I've been every place. I can't find where I'm supposed to actually go. Let me meditate again, just to reset everything. I want to see what I just grabbed. So I got this thing. It's slower, but it hits a bit harder. Let me see. Wow, wow, wow. This reminds me of Cult of the Lamb. It has similar kind of claw. Whoa. Attack. Take a look at this. These guys are super hard. It even warns about it. How on earth am I supposed to kill them? Oh, I can't go there? I need to kill this one to go there. Only the ex Excellent may pass. Let me go meditate and reset everything again so that I can read the lore. The quest. Get out of here, you big, big scary thing. So where is the information I've collected? Where is my journal? Where is my quests? That is, once again, a question I do not know an answer to. I don't know what that is. I don't know what Y does. This is sneaking. Oh, this is like... You can't freaking dodge. No dodge, but um... Well, kind of shield yourself. It doesn't... It just does it really quickly. It doesn't keep it up. But theoretically, you can do it. I don't know how I get there. It said only excellent can get through. Maybe I need to be like level 5 or something to pass through. I thought you need to find a nodule to open it, but it seems there might be different kind of rules. 
you know, you can enter this place if you do this and that place if you bring this item, maybe. I'm just guessing. Different places have sort of different rules. Wrong way. This is not very good. Or maybe do you need to grind in this game? Because I feel like I'm super weak against these guys and I have my best weapon. So I feel like um, you might have to grind in this game. Or then you just need to get good. That's a matter of option. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. I'm done. <laughs> I'm dead. All right. So um, I feel like I can't really achieve that much more in this demo right now. So I'm gonna leave this here, and I don't know if it's different the, if you buy the game as a whole if you can somehow you know if it's just a demo version so some parts of the games are sort of disabled so you cannot see your quest list or journal or whatever or if it's just the same way in the full game i do not know about that and um i'm reading some parts of the reviews from steam so um Somebody here says, um, this is, this is Excal, and they say, it's a challenging game which generally incorporates both good and annoying elements of Souls-like experience, still manages to stand out thanks to its strong dark fantasy presentation, rich Lovecraftian lore and gameplay systems that offer methodical combat and plenty of features to make it Adventure satisfying. It is a difficult game for sure. Um, it doesn't forego quality of life features for the sake of being difficult. Uh, it does forego some quality of life features just generally. Like, not necessarily to make the game more difficult in an artificial way, but just for the lack of polish that's my opinion then um matrix says the first few hours are fun but once the areas get bigger and more confusing it becomes frustrating every time you leave area all enemies respond so it is just like souls like games also they probably respond when you meditate that is just how these games work so if you exited the area and you notice you went wrong way, they come back. And then you just run past them, because you can do that. You don't actually have to kill them all. You can also do that in Elden Ring, Dark Souls, Sekiro. You actually can pass very, very many enemies in Sekiro. There is only a couple of enemies you actually have to fight, and those are usually like boss battles. Mm, most weapons feel the same, and unless you invest those very rare attack speed runes, oh, those would be so good. They are all very slow. So, um, yeah, the game does feel slow. The character feels slow, the weapons feel slow, but I feel it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a design choice, and it's it's kind of like um, you can't choose to do a dexterity character and then strength build. Strength build is usually slower. Dexterity characters are usually faster. They have very light gear, or they run around in their underwear. They dodge a lot. They run fast, and then you have like strength build with great club and Havel's armor, and which is basically crawl. And they hit very slow, but they hit hard. But this one, this game has made the design choice for the character to be slow. And I am one who really likes speedy characters, and it's challenging for me, but I see it, it's been, you know, it's not a negative thing. It's just that you gotta learn to go with the flow of the slower pace. And you gotta learn to play around it. It can be annoying if you're used to being fast and you just want to go fast um, uh, Atlas Press says every fight is hit roll hit roll 
If you can get the timing down, battery hit, battery hit. Once again, very souls like experience. And then F Lake Gola says retro style, souls like and inspired by Lovecraft. This game is basically like my wet dream. Okay, very interesting wet dreams you have. This would have been one of my fa favorites if the craft man would have polished this gem better. So this one I do agree. This game needs polish and it would be perfect. Maybe a little balancing, maybe, you know, a little bit more options between speed and strength, like dexterity and strength, maybe something about that, I don't know, but definitely polishing. That's, that's what this needs. Um, so, uh, small business says it's a good top-down souls like. It's not too difficult, alright. Compass strikes a good balance between tight and forgiving, and exploration feels rewarding. The art and writing, mostly lore entries, do a good job of conveying a dreadful atmosphere. Giving, worth giving a shot. And then there is um, Potnova75 says, been enjoying this with a controller, starts starts out slow, grinding levels, soon enough you're kicking ash, nice art, good game mechanics, fun to play. You have to time your attacks and dodge the monsters or you will die. So this is, there is a lot more of course, I'm not gonna read them all, I do agree, you have to figure out the timing that works and you have to learn it and it seems that you might have to grind a couple levels and it's easy because the enemies just pop right back so you can grind levels and make the game as easy as you like basically that way there is also a lot of items you can use so um i did drink some potions There are like these little things that give you different kind of boosts, but also you might lose sanity. But I have been getting a lot of those sanity capsules. Like, let's get my sanity all the way up. <laughs> I guess if you get the sanity all the way down, you start seeing some sort of spectres or something. Oh, now it's just ticking down on its own. So it's not normal to have full sanity. So yeah requires a little bit more polishing but if those tiny things don't matter and you want to enjoy souls like game in isometric way this game really feels like it's good time there is a lot of exploration there is a lot of lore it looks really cool it's i just really love the art style and i love the idea of combining like swords and weapons like bloodborne it's it it's, it seems really cool okay so it's definitely worth giving a shot and it's a great thing that there is a free demo so anybody can try it on their own and decide whether they like it or not i i don't know how long this demo is if you play it all the way through i don't have any idea i think there is probably at least you can go through this area maybe after this area it ends so there is a lot to play for the demo so i do recommend go check out the demo and give it a try if you if you're interested and you kind of like uh, do i want to get this or not and then decide whether you actually want to get it or not i kind of really like this game so that's it um i just keep repeating what i've been saying so many times so i think i'm gonna end this one right here and I'm gonna tell my friend that it's very interesting. <laughs> Maybe get it if it's on sale. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Bye!